afternoon everyone just wanted to keep you up to date on the little woodworking projects going on uh, today we're actually making a walking stick um, uh, you have to forgive me I did get a little far ahead before I started recording it um, but I think it's a good update for where we are let me give you a few examples of what I've done in the past um, first one was a uh, stylized owl little claw feet feathers in the back pretty simplistic uh, cord wrap handle, standard dowel you can pick up anywhere, rubber foot. Um, another one I did was a uh, stylized bear. Now there's a bit of shine there. Let me see if I can get that closer to you. Standing on a uh, pot of honey. Again, standard, uh, standard dowel, one inch, uh, rubber foot on the back, cord wrap handle. Um, darker stain though. That one came out pretty good. But what I've been noticing is I, I wanted to do something um, a little bit reminiscent of uh, folk art on canes, where they do a lot of details on the shaft itself. So what I did is I went to Home Depot, picked up uh, pretty much one of the largest dowels you can get, um, inch and three eighths poplar, makes a good, easy to carve, soft, straight grain, can't go wrong with it. Um, easy to cut with any tools, knives, um, but you want to do something along the shaft itself. I've been looking at some patterns. I found this basket weave pattern. I liked it. Um, it's going to give you a lot of little chance for a little bit of carving because what you want to do is make that undulation. Make this part seem to go under this one, come back up. Basically, you can just draw it out. This is a good one to show patterns. All you need to do then is draw out straight lines all the way across just follow use these darker holes um, as your horizontal lines the problem is when you put it around the, the round shaft it's pretty plain um, it's doable um, I just found when you're looking at it on the length depending on if it's not big enough uh, pretty plain looking so what I want to do is turn it 45 degrees I found another pattern here same basket weave design, uh, same one as that one, but on a 45 degree angle. It's going to make it look a lot better, certainly, on a smaller round, let's say, of a shaft. Um, so now, how are you going to transfer this pattern onto a round? Diagonally, you can do it with carbon paper. Um, it's going to make it a little tough over a big length. I want to do about two feet um, of the four foot walking, walking stick. Um, in this pattern, but again, patterns exist. So if you look at these little squares, let me do a little detail. This length is twice the distance of this side. So if, by example, you wanted to make this one inch, that becomes half an inch, and these little squares are quarter inches. Um, makes it very simple. But let me back it up a little bit. If you look, these little squares are the spaces in between they're in line with one another so when you're putting it along the round all you need to do if you can see it there uh, draw horizontal lines all the way across what you're basically going to have to figure out is what the circumference is divide it evenly draw out your lines and if you notice this square here this little square is directly in the middle of these two so once you have your horizontal lines, just draw vertical lines, or ones that go all the way around the circumference, and split it up. So if you figure out this distance, the middle one, just divide by two. Or you can figure out maybe every half inch, draw another line, move it half inch over, draw another line all the way across. The larger you make it, the more spread out it's going to be. Um, I like this pattern. So what it is, when I figured out all the horizontal lines, found the intersections, went over to my drill press, and I made each one of these squares, these little squares, drew, drilled them out, quarter inch deep, quarter inch holes. Then you just draw your diagonals, and this pattern recreates itself pretty well on the wood. Then using your two tools, you're going to use standard knife, I like this one, interchangeable blades. And this one here, this carving knife, um, carving chisel really, it's a 330, 
basically that refers to the slight curve that's on the top as you see it's not completely flat um, had this one for easily over 10 years it's pretty much the only one i use um, this gives you good handle very easy to maneuver what you want to do is put your uh, your stick down on a flat surface clamp it down easy clamps and you can just go through it all let me show you where i've gone and again i apologize i went pretty far into it before i started recording but you do get a nice basket weave pattern. So if you see here, the holes I drilled out, and then these rectangles, and all you do is you want to make stop cuts and little, little chip cuts. Let me see if I can get that closer to you. So you can start seeing the pattern that comes out of it. Basically what you want to show, or what you want to try and recreate, is one going into one another. And you see it a little bit better with the shadow of the overhead light. So if you see here, just little stop cuts. Um, and that you just do by taking your chisel, pressing it down, pressing it in back and forth, and then doing little chip cuts. Takes time, mind you. Probably, uh, probably about 20 hours total to chip out each one of these. It's about two feet total. So you see those holes I made? I was just on the uh, on the drill press, and then oh, actually that's a good good indication here. And then you see here, let's see where's a good one to show you here. Basically here, let's put it on. You want to go down an eighth of an inch, probably probably even maybe a quarter. You can try and match the holes you made with the drill press. Um, so when you back it off a little bit with the overhead light, you start seeing that pattern come out. I thought, uh, here, let me hold it down perfectly straight for you. I thought it at a 45 degree angle made for a much better pattern than straight across, simply because of the length of it. So it makes it look like you have a basket weave going all the way down the shaft of the walking stick. I left 12 inches at the bottom. Obviously, I chipped it down a little bit at the base, put one of these little rubber feet. It's a one inch diameter inside. So. It's going to be a tight fit and I won't put it on fully because uh, I want to stain it and seal it first but just so you don't slip. Then at the top what I did is I left a portion free for your hand to go around. Um, might be a little tough to see but it's actually curved in. I'm exaggerating the curve but if you go around you, you want a nice comfortable spot for your hand to fit. Did a few more chip cuts here just for some pattern. Then this is the one thing, uh, went to a local woodcraft store, bought a uh, poplar, poplar or maple, can't quite tell, um, just solid wooden ball. You want to concave out the uh, top of your stick, a little polyurethane liquid glue, it's waterproof, bonds anything to anything. Uh, the great part about that is it is waterproof, because you want to take these guys outside, a little bit of glue, holds in nice and sturdy. So. As you see, the hand fits in nicely. A little concave here at the base it gives a nice stop. I haven't figured out if I'm going to wrap this or not. Depends how much the, uh, the top coat, the polyurethane, how slippery it's going to be. You see here, I'm starting to uh, start to pencil in my, my name, family name. Still contemplating carving that out, probably with a Dremel a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing that next. You want to keep this handle smooth. You don't want anything rough. For long walks. haven't figured out here if I'm going to do anything yet. Maybe even taper it down. That's still to come, obviously, in uh, episode two. So we have that. There's still a lot, of, a lot of sanding to do. You want to make it, make sure it's smooth. Those chip cuts leave a little bit of a sharp edge. So you want to carve that back. Makes it look like you've wrapped this in ribbon. Uh, going to probably be doing a uh, light brown, maybe a maple um, coating on it, uh, like a stain, uh, really going to make these little details pop out. Sort of like what you see here with the overhead light where these uh, these shadow marks make it stand out. The stains can do that as well. And then uh, probably uh, three coats polyurethane. Uh, you can do a spray, you can do it brushed on. Uh, brushed on might be a little tough with all these little, little parts, but a spray, you want to do that outdoors. So 
right now middle of winter might be a little tough to find the spot but uh, there's the update for uh, for episode one of the uh, basket weave walking stick I will show you episode two shortly once I actually get to it uh, gonna do a little staining a little more cleanup but uh, stay tuned and hope you enjoyed it